the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buccaneers and the 49ers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And able to get this out to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. 13 yards there at a Niner first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Purdy bootlegging it. He'll buy some time right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. On second down, McCaffrey. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Purdy off the play fake. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. We gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. On third down, here's Purdy. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I don't think either one of us is surprised about who they just targeted on that one. I mean, they're going to try and get to him as much as possible. Off to a nice start, but unable to haul that one in. Yeah, already looked his way a couple of times on this opening drive. Can't connect there. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Here's Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown for the Niners. Brandon Ayu from 19 yards away. And the Niners' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened. But think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bucks now to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft, fiery competitor from Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Working out of the gun, Mayfield looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And Godwin going to have a box first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They will run for the first time here with White. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's Mayfield. And a dump off to White. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On third down, Mayfield. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Chase Young, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now Mayfield. A quick pass here to Godwin. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. A fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the box. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Two yards still to go, third down now. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's gonna be a foot or so short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe wanna go pick it up. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keeps your defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh -oh. you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. On second down, they'll run with White. 
Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Throwing Mayfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Yaya Diaby, he's the one who got in there. He gets the sack. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Purdy. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. A tough spot here. Third and 15. Purdy now to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. Yaya Diaby. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Mayfield to throw it. It's going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Pressure comes and down he goes. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. I don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he can escape the pocket. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, Mayfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Jake Camarda sit on now to punt this away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. 
Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play, because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Here now, third and a yard. Now Purdy. That is caught, and he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage, so they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He'll take this all the way up to midfield. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Jennings. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Two yards, good enough for a first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. They find some open field here. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. Purdy with it on third and long. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense. But those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know 
after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Mayfield. He finds his target. It's Evans. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there. 21 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with, and there's a completion right there. And somehow he's gonna get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is gonna change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Here is third and five. Mayfield looks to throw. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete it's gonna be another frustrating end to a drive here this offense they've not been able to get anything going in this first half and now it's gonna be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong who has an idea who has a plan time to implement it and he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline and no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Purdy. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Purdy now on second down. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. 
Once more, Purdy looking to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Here's a second and eight. Opting to run again here with White. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. And this offense on third down today, just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. Back near his goal line, here's Mayfield. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. To throw, Mayfield. And this one caught downfield by Evans. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Mayfield with it once more. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. This is Jennings. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Here now, second and four. Purdy looking to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a second and six. A throwing here, Purdy. Completes it to Jennings. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Seven yards there at a first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So this a two possession ball game as we get back underway set for the third quarter. And this take it in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time, 
The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is White on the screen. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's taken to the 26. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 65 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Purdy. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Purdy off the play fake. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Now, yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they've bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. On third down, Mayfield. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick 
Bosa able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. Powerful running. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 76 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's going to have a Niners first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third of inches. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Now is second and ten. Here's Purdy. The tight end Kettle has it on the left side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Purdy sets up to throw again. And this is incomplete. Six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But plain and simple. That's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Well, was this game announced as a night game prior to and Maybe his rhythm is confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they're able to build on things here with a 
field goal, but you know, the question is how much longer can they really rely on their defense to pitch a shutout? That's a great question because you know the guys on the other sideline are saying, give us the ball. We want another shot at this. So yes, tight game, he'll take the three. But this game, it's far from over. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They're down a couple of scores, 16-0, as they start things out with a first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. But you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second and six, just inside the 30. They keep it on the ground. White again. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run straight ahead here with White, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. It's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up four. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, at their own 15. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Purdy. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Offense. 
So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 41, here's second down at seven. On the handoff, this is White, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 63 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. First down, here's White. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. And this is caught by Evans. And Evans will have a box first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. He's going to look deep down the field. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Mayfield on play action. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. On first and 10, Mayfield. And a dump off to White. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 
And now Mayfield on the bootleg. There's the stick. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bucs are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Mayfield going to try to throw for the two. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, and now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it. Still down 10. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Purdy looking to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he is caught. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's run down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Purdy now to throw. Flushed out right. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Niners are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Throwing here, Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them. But we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They run the draw play. This is White. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Probably wishing that they could have had a few runs like that earlier in the game now facing this deficit in the fourth. Hard to criticize a run of that magnitude, but they really need those types of runs to go the distance and need bigger plays to try and get back into this one. Mayfield on first down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. He'll leave this one for White. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing Mayfield. This is White on the screen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. To throw Mayfield. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Mayfield with it once more. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Mayfield. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. First down, Mayfield. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Evans. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. A first down throw for Mayfield. There's Evans again, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. And again, it's Mayfield. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Nick Bosa, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. This likely a must-have, third and goal. Running here with White, and he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal or an extra point, take the field goal right here. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Levante David in on the tackle. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And they're going to get this beyond 
the 40 before he's taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.